find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast episode 226, and we are live from PodCamp Pittsburgh 9. Yeah, already. We are up on stage. There's people in the crowd. Hello, people in the crowd. Hello. And I know there's going to be a little bit more coming here later in the show. We got some uh, really cool plans. We got some news. We got some uh, all kinds of awesome geeky techy stuff. Uh, if you guys are new to the awesome cast here in the crowd or, or otherwise online, uh, this is where we talk about anything social media, technology, uh, the, the, the nerdy stuff out there uh, with the Internet and everything uh, and, and, and computers and, and iPhones and whatever. And, and very explicitly trying to be a Pittsburgh kind of centric idea for this. Uh, everybody that we have on the show typically is talking, uh, are people that do this in Pittsburgh, and I think that's really important to get that kind of perspective. And that's why we really like doing this stuff at here at PodCamp Pittsburgh. It's definitely, you know, that perspective on social media here with these guys. Um, so uh, with me, as usual, is the Dutters, Katie Dudis. Dudis. Hi, guys. <laughs> yes. I wish you could see my very, if you can't see it in the back, my the second camera setup over here is a my bottle of Mountain Dew, which I was so looking forward to drinking, by the way. I'm sorry. I forgot. I was supposed to be in my bag. I, I, I didn't check that one. And we're using the webcams. We're using yeah. the, you know, right up here on the, on the, on the, the, the MacBook uh, webcam, which mm-hmm. is usually a really good quality if you have one from the last couple of years. Like I said, uh, you know, a little bit of background. I, I was kind of mentioned this before we started recording, but we did pi- video podcasting 101 and 201 yesterday, and I got really into like what I'm using for Wirecast. It's nice because I can just drop it on this MacBook, and and it's got most of the features that I have going on. I'm putting up two shots of everybody. I, I, I'm not stressing it. We're not going to put screens of what we're talking about or anything like that. Maybe we'll hold it up to a webcam or something like that, um, but uh, we'll, we'll have some fun with it. So uh, if you are – my doc disappeared again – uh, if you're new, again, uh, typically we're here recorded live every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. at live.sorgatronmedia.com. You can jump in, do the chat room. Of course, not this week because we're doing it here. But this this <laughs> is our live, live chat. chat room. Hello. Um, and uh, you can follow us. We're all at AwesomeCast on Twitter. You can look up AwesomeCast on uh, Facebook and Google+. Uh, we we're tweeting out stories and everything throughout the week. You can email us, AwesomeCast at sorgatronmedia.com. And you can also please subscribe to us and definitely comment. I'm learning even more this weekend how important it is for people to comment on iTunes specifically. Uh, so please comment on, on, on this. And, and not just us, every podcast you listen to. If you listen to podcasts, support them at least by commenting on them and rating them on iTunes because that really helps that discovery uh, a, a bit. Uh, <laughs> buzzing phones on the ta- <laughs> under the table. There we go. Um, and, uh, of course, you can also subscribe to us. We're on YouTube, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. And I'm sure we'll be on uh, uh, Spotify whenever that's available mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, uh, like I said, we're here at PodCamp, and we usually get started with our awesome thing of the week. Um, I don't. Do you want to go first? Sure. Is yours PodCamp camp centric? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll yeah. get into some stuff that we 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 found here, but you can go ahead here. Tell me about Hack Summit. Uh, something I found online recently is it's coming up December 1st, 1st to the 4th. It's uh, called Hack Summit. It's a virtual conference, so it's all online. Uh, it's all levels of programmers in all languages, and it benefits coding nonprofits, which I think is really neat. Um, if you are into like Code 2040, uh, there's another group called Black Girls Code. And what this is is you're going to work with some pretty high-end coders, and they're going to work with you. And depend, like I said, it doesn't matter what level you're at. And all online, and they're just taking any sort of donation that you can give. And if you're not in a situation where you can give a donation, they're asking you to tweet about it or post it on Facebook, some sort of social media to spread the word about it. So it's kind of a twofold. It's a really nice thing where you get to learn about coding, and you're also ho- helping other people who are also learning how to code. And um, it's all really cool. It's donation based or shared on the social media. I love that. I love all these uh, kind of these, these coding uh, initiatives that are coming up like this because um, I think it's really important. Uh, you know, a lot of the conversation is you know we all have our, our iPads and our iPhones and stuff, but nobody knows so much um, 
how to how that stuff works, right? We just use it, we hit the button and it works. Um, much like like how many people drive a car but don't even know how to change the oil. Um, you know, I should know a little bit of, of what goes in and what's under the hood, um, just to understand things, you know, just in a how stuff works kind of uh, mentality. And I really like seeing these initiatives like and, this. And you're, it's not, at one point at social media jobs were just basically just, do you know how to use social media? And now they're much more involved where they want you to know these back end things and how you do this and how you create these websites because what you may want to do may not be possible based upon what kind of what, whatever you're using mm -hmm. and I think it's important for everybody to kind of have a little background on it and I've always um, I uh, I was doing some teaching uh, we've, we've mentioned on the show before uh, 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 for a couple of years at uh, PTI Pittsburgh Technical Institute and, and one of the courses I did was like the first quarter like this is a sampling of everything that you're looking at like we did like two weeks of premiere two weeks of audio editing two weeks of, of Dreamweaver with HTML and I don't know why, like my preconceived notion or something because it's been I know, I've been out of school for 14 years or whatever but like I felt like like the kids today kids today like I felt <laughs> like my lawn. I felt like they would have a better grasp of things yeah. like I, I I feel like 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 I don't know it's because I was a tinker at, at my at that age mm -hmm. myself but I was in there poking around and figuring out how to make a tripod site and everything. And so when I got to something like the Art Institute, I, I already knew a little bit about HTML, so I could dive into that, that Dreamweaver class. But I, I don't know if it's just an atypical situation. Well, you have to also but, realize that when we started on computers, I had a Commodore 64. It wasn't just, you know, start up your, you know, play your game. Yeah. It's like you got to make a boot disk to make that TIE Fighter game work, you know? Yeah. It, it, was a, it was a lot different. So it, There was much more involved with it than just, like, starting it up. It's oh, a lot easier game. to kind of take technology for granted definitely mm -hmm. I mean I mean uh, certainly because uh, people just like have these devices and they're ready and, and people have I kids have iPhones at like 14 mm -hmm. and they're just like I hit a button and something happens yeah. and I'm on Facebook and I get myself in trouble uh, so all right my awesome thing is something I learned about here at PodCamp in the hallways as it goes I learned plenty in the sessions of course but I'm kind of a floater since we've been doing the video trying to capture everything and I've been kind of a one-man team as far as the streaming and video side of things but of course, uh, this one kind of uh, stuck out to me. Uh, this is by, I think if I track down who I was talking to, uh, right, I think this was Zian Poerio? Poerio? At uh, Magia Trazzi. Good luck spelling that. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll tweet it out. Mm -hmm. uh, but she was uh, going around with an iPad, which, and she talked about it in her course. I'm going to try to get it from our course later, or if she can tweet me or something. Uh, she has her iPad, and it looked like it was, I think it was an iPad Air, and, and it was like this this case around it, right? Uh, and it has all the holes and everything for like attaching lights and speakers and putting on a tripod. And she was taking video with people. And it was with this application called TouchCast. You can check out touchcast.com. And she gave a really quick explanation. And, and, and it really kind of, uh, it's like the, the kind of stuff I'm looking for uh, precisely. Because it's taking your iPad and, and much like, um, it sounds like if you took like Wirecast where I have the graphics on screen, I can switch cameras kind of thing uh, and live stream and capture it at the same time. It sounds like, like TouchCast is like the iPad version of this kind of concept. Uh, and and it, it's really cool. It's actually a free app. Um, they have uh, uh, some uh, affiliation with UNICEF and doing a. Uh, they did a project with John Lennon. I presume they, they recorded on iPads with this application and everything. Uh, the more information of it, it's, it's in the. Uh, it's for iPad, of course. So it's in the App Store. Um, it's at touchcast.com if you want to check it out or just look up touchcast on the iPad. So uh, that, that was a pretty cool kind of a tool trick kind of thing. And, and, and I wish I had an iPad. Again, I, like, I have an iPad 1 and I got, I got this Nexus 7, um, but there's not as many cool video things on the Nexus 7 because this camera is, is junk. I tried taking a picture during the last session. It was just like the crappiest thing I've ever done, uh, which is a problem with Android, right? Yeah, they're, they're just not set up for it. No point and click. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, well, well, here's, I know you, you talked about last week, yeah. like the Samsung that you had to, like, it does great pictures. Mm -hmm. It was the S5. Yeah. Uh, but you have to, like, tinker with it. It's yeah. not a boom, you know? Out of the box, here you go. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I, you know, I love the idea of taking pictures with this, you know? But, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. So like, I look like a tourist. Yeah, because that's my first thing when, 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 when I talked with her. It was just like, 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 I'm seeing the iPad and it's this big bulky thing. You know, mm -hmm. and, and regardless of who you are, it looks goofy, you know, shooting video with an iPad. But especially with the last couple versions, that camera has gotten so good. And, and, and these things, the, I, the iPhones, like this is the 5S I'm holding, uh, are just like, uh, what was I uh, when I was talking to video podcasting 101 is like you guys have how many of you guys have iPhones 
or you have varying quality uh, on your um, uh, 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 Android phones. I was like, you have something to get started, and it's a damn good quality. Uh, and I was talking about how I would love to get some of the old 4s's that I have amongst my family when we upgrade to the next one and give them ours. Uh, I would just want to take all those 4s's and just like have them as multiple HD cameras that I can use for projects. You know, maybe it's a point where I could start shooting some of these things with multiple cameras or something. You know, you start experimenting with it because it's still a good camera, even all the way back on a 4s that does seven. 20 HD video. Well, I'm having trouble giving up my 5S because I'm finding that having, it sounds as silly as it sounds because I have the 6, having a second phone comes in handy. <laughs> so you're like, <laughs> like, 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 with the, like, I know. You're I doing like, the, the, the tablet and this, yeah. and then like you get a bigger phone. It's almost as big as the tablet. And, and then like we're having this tech juggle thing going yeah. on. I'm walking around with that and then the giant, I still have the giant battery that that lasted the uh, Codmouth Kings mosh pit from uh, oh, yeah. from the gathering of the jugglers here uh, <laughs> to make sure I have everything powered. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, uh, but I mean, we're we're the fringe, you know. Yeah. Most people aren't, I think, juggling uh, a bunch of stuff like that. But but then you know, we, I'm making sure I have something I can pull up, like the, the, the PodCamp feed over the weekend, and check on the feeds, mm -hmm. check on the streams, and everything, and make sure everything's cool. Um, so I, again, kind of like we're we're, we're using the tools to the to as max as we can uh, and experimenting with, with and having opportunities to experiment with, with, with things like that. You know, I mean, how many people like went out and got Google Glass? You know, I feel, I feel like an idiot that I have Google Glass now because it's gotten to that point. <laughs> but it's, there's really good uses for yeah. it for, for specific industries. And I mm -hmm. think that's, that's a big thing. But that's, uh, that's the failure of being a, you know, the, 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 the pitfalls of being an early adopter, right? Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Now, we do have one more awesome thing of the week. I, I feel bad. I, I, I skipped this last week. Oh, no, no. We have a contributor, and then we'll get to your after the oh, week, no too. Oh, this is the one we are talking about in the lobby. Um, and this actually pertains to PodCamp. Uh, Alex Cars, he's a guy that contributes to a lot of our shows. He's helped us with some graphic art and stuff um, over at Sorgatron Media for, for some DVD covers, some other logos and stuff. Um, he sent an email for something called, and he's, he's actually out in uh, California, uh, Long Beach, California. A uh, really cool guy getting his design uh, uh, stuff going. Uh, AlexCarsDesign.com, give him a plug. Uh, Mixler, he's telling me about. Uh, it's at Mixler.com, and that's M-I-X-L-R. So, uh, you know, very web 2.0-y, no, no ease. Mm -hmm. um, but he's, this is what he says in his email. Mixler is a new, I think he just copied pastes from the site maybe. Uh, Mixler is a new way to broadcast live audio with more social emphasis. One-click broadcasting embeddable onto websites and blog, listen directly from Facebook, Twitter, uh, social experience, uh, high-quality uh, recording, export to SoundCloud, MixCloud, Dropbox, et cetera. Um, I downloaded it. I played with this a little bit last night, and I think it's very very important for, like we talked about, you know, even with the video session, we were talking about, like, you have the tools, just get something out there, get started, get your voice on something. Um, it is free for an hour. I, I don't know if it's just an hour broadcast or you record an hour and then everything after that is, is something else. And it's like 60, 60 bucks for five months, something like that, uh, which isn't too bad when you compare it to like maybe the, mm -hmm. the, the Lipsons and the other hosts out there, um, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. But the nice part is it does have an app in the app stores for Android with Google Play, iPhone, iPad, the Mac app store, and the Windows app store. And I downloaded it both on my iPhone and up on my, uh, actually on my Mac right here. And just to check it out real quick, I didn't go through the sign up process, but it looks like you, you, you hook it up with your, you know, sign up with your Facebook and everything, you hit a button and you're recording, you're broadcasting right away. I think that's a really cool concept that somebody could have a lot of fun with. Uh, and for people kind of looking for different ways to try to be social and record audio and everything, um, I think it's a really cool option. So that's Mixler.com, M-I-X-L-R, com if you want to check that out um so you got a you got an app of the week that oh, we we're talking yeah. about outside in the lobby I for think, a little I bit i think this was done uh, totally just um inspired by douglas durda i don't know if you've uh, you follow him um as, should i drink that but i think we've gotten more plugs for his site since <laughs> this, yeah, whole he thing has. Started. this has been a good this has been a good, good weekend for him. should i drink that that's for sure um it's called drunk mode app and it's been around for a little while it's it's not new and it's not <laughs> I'm going to download this. Oh, you have to. It's, is, it, it's, is it Android? Or what is it it's on? both. It's both. Um, okay. There are a couple features. Um, I'll explain. One is not on iOS yet, but um, they're mostly on, on Android. Uh, it's, it was developed by a University of Virginia student. Uh, it's been around since about April 2013. It took $560 to put this app together. 
And what it does. Wow, that's it. I know. That's probably, that includes like the $90 uh, developer fee probably for, uh, for, for uh, the app store. Yeah, and what it does is. Uh oh. What's going on? <laughs> oh, this is the perfect people because we were talking about drunk mode. Oh, come on in. We'll, we'll get these guys in here, uh, our little invasion uh, going on. But real quick, we'll finish up the oh, sure. drunk app real quick because um, th these guys will be interested Oh, in my this. gosh, yeah. We're going to sit you over here. You can set it up to uh, put a certain time. You, you essentially turn the app on, and you can set it for a certain, if you're planning on going out for just a few hours or for 12 hours, however you want to do it. And um, what, you do, what it does is it blocks calls of certain people that you request, which is a common oh, thing with the drunk sorry. apps. Um, it also, <laughs> oh, geez. Sorry. It's getting, oh, man. it's getting physical up here. We can wait. It'll oh, wait. cool. Thank you. I'm so um, it also uh, it has a recover your Snapchats. So if you're sending Snapchats and you're like the night before and you wonder what in the world did I send, this is one of the only Android only features. Mm -hmm. And two of my favorite features on this are find my drunk and breadcrumbs. <laughs> find my drunk is where is you pair it with a friend. And let's say you have a friend that constantly wanders off. Everybody has that friend. And you're out at the bar, and 10 minutes later, they're gone. And uh, what this does is it enables you to track them on your phone. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is, see, a lot of this is... Uh, how, many, how many out there are thinking about the friend they're getting this for right now? How many out there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, are you already signing me up? Okay. All right, we'll have some fun later. And then the, bread, the breadcrumbs one is if you go out and you can't remember where all you went the night before, this enables you, it still uses the GPS in your phone. For those extensive bar crawls. It tells you all the bars that you hit or all the locations you stopped, maybe that alleyway for whatever reason or what, whatever you're doing that night, which it's all fun. They're really fun features. They're also kind of cool for safety. Well, yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. think about it, because... Yeah, Especially like like I, I I it's unfathomable to me. Uh, I'm not a person that goes out to the bar, and and the idea that anybody I, I don't mean to offend anybody that this happens <laughs> to, um, but the idea that you can go out and drink to the point where you have no idea what happens. Like I don't know if that has not really happened to me in my life. I have not gotten that drunk except for maybe like one time when I had a Fago box on my head in oven mitts. I think LB might remember that one. Um, <laughs> remember it. I referenced it. You re yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Um, but uh, but but uh, like those people need this 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 yes. leash, you know. Yes. It's like certainly. Um, maybe but, if this was a few years ago I might have needed this leash. Or at least college, a reminder. College, college, come college, on. Oh college my kids, you know, like, you, you, you kind of need to. Hey, right? don't you remember that fun time when we stopped and you're like, no. No, I don't. Oh, well, We're this at Red app remembers. <laughs> Uh, I could have used this when I was like deliriously sick a week and a half ago, a little <laughs> bit. See, we have so many applications for this. Yeah, app. you know, because I like take a trip down to Rite Aid and I hardly remembered it. Um, uh, speaking of drunks. Oh no! Oh no! We have to uh, uh, watch this a little bit. Our mics are over here a little bit, but uh, I mean, we'll switch you out. I don't know. So, so. Something's this is, this is the politest invasion. I know. This is the politest <laughs> invasion. Thank you. You let us finish our story. Yeah. Um, go ahead and move that a little bit uh, so you can get, get you on the webcam. Get close to Katie there. Hi, hey, there you go. Uh, so DJ Lunchbox of the Wrestling Man, right. Joe Will Rutherford, joined us uh, uh, here mid-show. Um, uh, and everybody else. Mm. Holy crap. Um, the, <laughs> the, we all droid, get to the, the droid is here. I don't want to be left out. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes, we um, all did. So, so tell us. Uh, so you guys... Tell us what you just came from. Well, we were we were doing a panel about longevity in podcasting because you know we've all been doing podcasts for multiple years, um, and uh, uh, we we can't have a longevity in podcasting show without Sorg because Sorg's been doing it you know the entire time. I mean, he's been doing it since they were hammering it in tablets and then mm -hmm. sending it down streams to other people. <laughs> hey, we, 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 were, I was remin well, we were reminiscing in, in the video podcasting 201, the Shoutcast server. The Shoutcast which server, Which is very yeah. much pre-podcasting oh, for us. Uh, and and we're, we were streaming. We were we were streaming before yeah, like, anybody thought we, about Google Hangouts. We had like 14 people on, yeah. a, on a server that like you hosted in your home. Man, and it was the rockingest 14 people that you could have in an AOL oh, chat room. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what. And, and and we've kept that by having the rockingest 10 people during the Wrestling Man Show <laughs> chat room every week. Um, <laughs> they are part of the show mm -hmm. um, for the most part. Shoutcast was great technology, too. 
Damn, I, it was. I, I had yeah. It's still station. out there. Is it still it out there? I think so. I think it's still like like uh, South Chapters. I'm pretty sure is open source. I think there was something when they got they got bought by somebody. Uh, AOL. No, AOL. 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 Then somebody else bought them too. I thought. I think Probably we should. Sold. I think we should agree now. Yes. That we're going to take these long running podcasts we have and take them back to Shoutcast. Oh, we're, we're going to abandon all other technology. Going back to the roots. We're going back to the roots. Okay. I think it's a good idea. It was crazy because we, we had DJs because on our radio station for Western PA Jugglers, like guys I know, it's kind of like today, guys I never met from California. That's right. We're like <laughs> logging into my server, sitting there in my back room at my house over in over in Beachview, around the corner from the McDonald's, uh, and, uh, and, and logging into my house and broadcasting <laughs> music for one thing and whatever the heck they did. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. And yeah. uh, we just started recording it and, and then podcasting. Anyways, back, so back to what, what right. you guys we, we had a, We had our longevity in podcasting. We were talking about how to maintain a podcast and how to not get bored with it, how to overcome you know any frustrations you might have and everything like that. And uh, and actually uh, joining me on the panel was uh, Doug Durda, as you heard from Should I Drink That, uh, Dan Greenwald from the excellent Comic Book Pit podcast, and Zach Rizza from our very own Wrestling Mayhem show and Boss Battle. Oh, yeah, Boss Battle. Yeah, and Boss Battle. Uh, well, he's kind of got killed off of that show, I guess. Oh. Yeah. But stupid work. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll petition. I'm, I'm, work gets I'm in the way. Grave. You're rising. You're rising to from the grave for for tonight. Just for tonight. As a representative of a podcast, you're not on anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. So but, it, but anyway, so so so, what did you discover? What what did you? What was the determination uh, you, you came from here? Um. What, 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 why? If I'm starting a podcast today and I want to be around ten years from now, uh, oh god, uh, <laughs> like like what? What should I do from day one? The the key is that we all are talking about things that we love. You know, uh, we're talking about wrestling. We're talking about comic books. We're talking about beer and video games and things that we would be talking about anyway. Right. We're just doing it while people are looking at us. <laughs> so we're doing it from a fish tank. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. That is that is the best description I've ever heard of a podcast. We are presenting a little fish tank for people to stare at us through. It's more like reality TV. It's like re- yeah. reality TV. Yeah, yeah. 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 maybe right. a little less Which drama. Pittsburgh's big with There's a lot of reality TV stars that come out of Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. So it's fitting. Sorg is a pioneer of dance moms. <laughs> you didn't know that. You, you didn't, didn't know, know that. You just learned something. You guys today, learned something apparently. about Sorg. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Anything else from your session? Um, I don't know, guys. What did you? What? What? I answered once. You guys. What you did you? What was your takeaway from these sessions? And, uh, Someone tag no, in. No way. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Nobody. I'll go over. Yeah. Good. 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 All right. Tag out. Tag out. What a folding chair. Get for that. I know. Great. We were just talking about actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna hit you with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Casual. Yeah, I figured that's what. Oh, are we doing we this? Have to are we actually doing this? Oh, you're in front no of. No headshots. You'll get. You'll get fined. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be that'll be our big finale. Oh god! Oh god! It's padded too. I don't know if I'm parked up like that. Anyways, hi. It, it actually came up in conversation that the first time I met the wrestling guys, lunchbox was getting hit by a metal chair over the back. Yeah, that's true. And I can't uh, remember it, VIP it, like that and, either. And I think Chad, Chad oh, no, the Chad was, was the getting kicked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was a very interactive uh, <laughs> session to say the least. <laughs> Because our point was, you need to be interactive in your podcast. So our interactivity was just so they pull out a chair and hit the other guy with it. <laughs> uh, to, to, I want to point out the one guy involved in that that took the chair shot and the face shot uh, from. Uh, did he take the chair shot or he took the he took the kick to the face? Uh, he did go get trained and actually became a pro wrestler for yeah. a couple of years. So yeah. so and uh, <laughs> and he's also partially responsible for that tunnel that goes underneath the river to the north side. He's, he worked on that too. So, That's true. Yes. So. The guy that got kicked in the face at Pod Camp uh, <laughs> drilled the hole underneath the river. Help, assisted in the yeah. In I the, bet you feel safe now riding the T. Oh yeah, <laughs> Thank for that. Doc Remedy, R.I.P. Um, <laughs> the character, not him. Uh, just one for that. Anyways, yes. you had, you had a point. I just wanted the chair and be in front of a oh, microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's cool. the point so, of podcasting. <laughs> well, you, you had me thinking about Shoutcast, first of all. So I was trying yeah. to think back to when I actually started recording and putting it yeah, online. I'm I didn't realize this. I, I, maybe I just didn't remember. But you, you were saying in, the, in our session that you started with a webcam and a microphone. Yes. You know, and, 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 and this is, we're talking 2006. And you were doing a video podcast. Well, we used it to record the audio because we didn't have microphones. So you were just oh, so you were just like using that little. And I'd rip out the audio, and then I oh, okay. I'd use that. Okay. But you but, were but you were doing video. I, 
Well, we were, yeah. We would record some of the video, too. Yeah. It, it never made the light of day, thank God, because <laughs> my co-host had a... He shaved his head and then put in, like, some funky mohawk thing. There's a picture somewhere of it, too. It, it, it was bad. You didn't want to see us drinking then. Um, but I was thinking back about Shoutcast. I actually had a radio station for probably about two or three years on Shoutcast. That was the DJ for. And it played nothing but Clark's music for 24 hours a day. Oh, <laughs> I, I had Clark's Radio, which was actually linked from their website for a while. I had so many Clark songs, it was unbelievable. And it's, I would, the cool thing was I would start taking requests from fans over Instant Messenger, and then I would change up the music. And then I had a script that was running where they could just type, when they would send that I am over, it would play the song that they want to hear. Wow. That's where having the web background kind of came into play. So it, I actually started recording when I, probably about 2002 broadcasting. And it was nice because I had a cable modem from Comcast, and I maxed out that bandwidth as much as I could. Well, the problem back then, because the problem we had, because it's the upload, right? Yes. And back then, it's not like today where you get like you get FiOS and you get twenty five gig, uh, gigabytes, megabytes Megabyte. up and down, which is really nice for us when we're streaming three Google Hangouts and our fees to UStream and YouTube and everything. Um, but back then it was like uh, like seven hundred k up, and that's why we had fourteen listeners. We could we could get broadcasting out i actually had a call from comcast once and they said what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> it's like i'm streaming on a radio station like okay we thought you were doing something with movies i'm like no 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 it's just a radio station They're like well, all right that's fine and you also had to watch it too because um uh technically you can't run a server if you're on a residential what is that <laughs> where did you find that <laughs> no don't <laughs> no no don't show up. Out there can, see there. can you describe what's going on in that, that picture <laughs> of doug <laughs> He's, uh, well, he's uh, wearing a poncho. Yeah, he's, he's, would you prefer this one? What, That's better. What, Rainbow poncho. What, what were those celebrations for? Okay, again? so the anniversary of our show, of, uh, since it is a, a drinking yeah. podcast, is Cinco de Mayo. That's my favorite. So every year we have a big Cinco de Mayo bash, and uh, and one year we dressed up with the kit that we got from like Party City, and Dutters thinks it's funny, but it's <laughs> that's when we were doing more video with the show. We thought we'd have some fun with it. Uh, I don't know where to go from there. Do I honestly I. don't know where to go from there. Does anybody else have any comments from our your session you need to tag in on, Dan? Uh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, come on over here. Come on over here. Yeah, uh, Dan, right. Dan Rewald does the comic book pit, of course. Um, not to be confused with Panel Riot, but all, both fine <laughs> shows, and they're different. Now, now your show's different because, like, 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 Will comes from his from. Uh, more of a fan side of things, mm -hmm. but you guys, you, a lot of guys on the show, like are involved with with comics. With actually, like, creating in, yeah, comics, creating comics. All three of us actually uh, create our own comics in one way, shape, or form. Uh, myself, uh, Scott Headland, Jared, Catherine, we all and and have you know drawn, put our you know put our stuff online, have it you know printed, try to sell at cons, mm -hmm. so. So, so, and I like that because it's, it's a whole different perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a little bit of inside baseball going on there. A little bit, like, yeah. like we've done it. We know what it's like to a point, so we can kind of have a, like, a weighted opinion, you know? Right. Like, I like that people on here that do this stuff that, right. that, that we talk about the podcast and the tech, you know, uh, it, it, as a living or a hobby, you know. And, and I think you guys, I think it really, really works out and, and gives you guys an extra. Yeah, I, I, I feel like a. Like you said, we, we have a little bit of a <clears throat> because you know we, we have a little bit of I mean none of us are professional artists or creators, but that we all have that kind of that little bit of it in our blood that you know it's something we love doing you know along with just reading and collecting comics, but you know that we have a little bit of a um, a, a, a more educated opinion about the process of making comics and or the you know the art styles or writing styles things like that. So, so what do you uh, attribute, uh, what would you find from your discussion here uh, in this se last session I, and, and kind of what's, what's sticking you, you guys sticking around for so long? Um, how, how, when did you guys start the podcast? We started in uh, 2008. 2008, yeah, okay. Late November 2008. Um, and I had mentioned in the previous session that I kind of, you know, got my start by going to podcast uh, or pod camp, I think it was... Uh, I, I went the first year when it was at Pittsburgh Filmmakers, and I went in 2007, and that's when we started, you know, we started in 2008. So, um, yeah, I, um, I I feel like there's so much 
um, support. I mean, PodCamp has been so instrumental in not only helping us get our show off the ground, but finding like-minded people, getting, you know, finding support and just, just, you know, both technical and creative support. I mean, I, I feel like th that was something I took away that PodCamp is like so instrumental in everybody's podcasts mm -hmm. that, you know, it's like, that's kind of where we all come from in a sense. Awesome. Awesome. Um, oh, anything else? Briz, you got anything? <laughs> Riz again. He's a wrestling mayhem show, and he also writes and uh, does the podcast with uh, InsertCoinToBegin dot com. Get it, get in here. Get close, get closer. Close, get closer. Uh -huh. that's, that's the important mic. That's and, the important mic over here. Close. Is this, is this too close, sir? Um, is this too close, sir? That's that's a sexy okay, distance. Okay. Okay, give me a little bit more. There you go. Um, All right. So what, what do you think we can hope for as people is having a sexy distance? Yes, yeah. have a sexy yeah. distance. Sexy that's, distance that's is podcasting perfect. Podcasting one hundred and one. Have a sexy distance from your mic. <laughs> And uh, um, make sure you can breathe. Yeah. I found it weird, though, that we had three people up there who started uh, at podcasts. They started right. their so own at, podcasts. At yeah. Yeah. And you had me. Because <laughs> I, I, I didn't do, I didn't start a podcast until later on with uh, Boss Battle. Mm -hmm. uh, but knowing that and, and they're the, going and through. And the tens of them you're doing on Google Hangout right now for the wrestling. Yes, that too. Um, but... <clears throat> Speaking on the Mayhem Show proper for a minute, uh, we've just hit that wall. Like we just hit that right niche, right through there. That we have that we have that motion that we can go through. And I think the one we touched on a lot is the fact that we are doing it with friends, mm -hmm. but we are making friends from that as well. Mm -hmm. Like You're I don't. A friend from a we were talking about this yesterday. Like, yeah. You like if it wasn't for if it wasn't for, for the, the podcast. The podcast would I have even, would we have even been no. having a conversation? You're just some guy that went to the indie shows. I'm just that some I was also at, at the indie shows. Yes. And uh, you started listening and, and writing. And I wouldn't even remember, I wouldn't even know about the podcast if I didn't go to an indie show, though. Because that was the time I had that, uh, those cards with me. Like some guy handed me a card. I'm like, Okay, I'm taking this with me. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's going to happen. Uh, so go. I don't know. You're going to hand a business card to somebody this weekend. And you don't know two years from now. It wasn't even a. a it wasn't even a business card. It was like a pamphlet. It was like a. It's like right. super hentai oh, yeah. was coming over wrestling. Oh, yeah. oh, we had yeah, such horrible got... flyers. Oh god, that was... I remember I listed everybody. We had an interview from IWC, and I think I misspelled like three of them. Yeah, um, that was bad. But, uh, but it worked. Yeah, it worked. I'm I'm here, Sword. So I'm here for you, Sword. Oh, thank you. I'm here for thank you, Sword. Oh, thank you, Riz. Thank you, Riz. Oh, wait, you. there we go. And touch. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Yeah, um, very inside. I want to bring somebody <laughs> up. Well, he's a podcaster too, I guess. <laughs> but I wanted to get more general. I, I, Malengo, uh, we talked. Malengo, do you still want to come up? Hi. I guess so. You just made that. Oh wow! We <laughs> talked before. I, I wanted to get your opinion of the weekend. I always, I always like seeing uh, what, what, what you think of the proceedings over the weekend. It's a good um, thing I brought an extra chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah, like, I don't know how I was going to hit anybody with it, but uh, just, just you know, get some impressions from the weekend here at Pod Camp. Now, Malengo, of course, uh, we, we worked together. You remember, yeah, you remember Justin Kanaki? I do know. You're yes. Justin Kanaki, I do know him. the founder of Pod Camp, <laughs> <laughs> the, the guru, the, yeah, the, the Omega. Guru is. Um, and you do uh, tell people what you do. That's online and interesting. Yeah, I do a podcast on movies mm -hmm. um, called The Rambling Movie Minute, and we basically just kind of hang out and talk about the movies from the week that had just come out. And you also do another kind of side to that too, more or less. When you oh yeah the uh, the comic strip the comic strip yes yeah. I do a comic strip that kind of just pokes fun at whatever movie had just come out yeah so yeah I don't I don't know which one I think the uh, well I had a couple good ones but at least I think they're good I don't know <laughs> but yes. <laughs> If you're not on video, you should probably try it this week. Uh, <laughs> there's some interesting stuff happening behind these guys. Um, so I know you, you, you know, you're kind of, uh, you know, finding your footing. I think in in social media, yeah. in podcasting, or kind of figuring out what's the game plan for you and what you want to accomplish uh, with your endeavors. So, so what uh, what kind of sticks out? What did you get kind of from the weekend here at PodCamp? Um, I got a good, uh, a lot of good stuff. I mean, like I just came from. 
I, I like the panel that just invaded your uh, your podcast. Oh, you like here. these guys? Yes, okay. I went in on That's that. Good. That's good. Uh, longevity with podcast with podcasting. I thought that was interesting. Um, I also went to one on pitching podcast. I thought that was. Good. I sat in on that one. That was really yeah, good. That was very informative. So I like. I just like the tone. I like you know just being here, seeing what people, hearing what people are doing, and mm-hmm. seeing the like the one thing that I thought was really cool was just like people coming up and just talking about what they're doing and using the technology that they're using mm-hmm. to like add to their podcast. I thought that was really interesting. Like seeing what people are doing now with Google Hangout is really interesting. And uh, even other other like touchcast, somebody uh, recommended that. I thought that was really interesting. So yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, just that accessibility, right? Yep. You know, the the the, the tools everybody has. Yeah. Uh, just kind of at their fingertips. <laughs> I just read I'm sorry. I just Speaking read, of fingertips. I just I just read some of the stories that Katie put in here. Uh, <laughs> Are you reading what? my, my uh, messages? That, with... No, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm looking through the doc. I didn't, I didn't read under that mm-hmm. uh, part of it. So, um, hey, it's in the news. Well, hey, okay, well, this is our show for the week, so I do want to kind of touch on some really quick stories here at the end. If anybody wants to come over and comment on them or anything, uh, we'll touch on some real, real quick ones. Of course, the big news of the week um, Google has been dropped by Firefox. Oh. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. They right? broke up. So if you go and you're Firefoxing and you're in that awesome bar or whatever, it's not going to go to a Google search. It's going to go to Yahoo. Yahoo. If you're in America. Interesting. Uh, apparently, they have new deals hmm. with, uh, depending on what country you're in, uh, uh, several different new new, new uh, uh, uh Search engines, depending on what's popular or whatever they got deals with. Because I think it was Google mostly across the board. Uh, for those who don't know, Firefox is like a they have the, the, the Firefox Foundation. They're mostly um, funded by when you go and click Google search in their bar and their page that pops up, um, and they get a kickback from Google for that, uh, for the ads revenue or something like that. And that's uh, that's mostly how they fund the web browser development is through that relationship. Um, Firefox, uh, they, they, do, they do note if you want to see how big of an impact that could be for Yahoo. Uh, according to, I forget, but from The Verge, Firefox has lost the market share in recent years, but is still used by roughly 17% of web builders. That's, that's huge for Yahoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and we, we've been talking about a lot about the changes Yahoo's been making. Um, and uh, and uh, I don't know, that'll be interesting to see like what this new Yahoo kind of becomes. So. I mean, who who up here actually uses Yahoo? I mean, it, like actively. Like, is it still, or unless it's your like <laughs> default from your computer? What, from your... Well, it depends because I, I do like Yahoo News mm-hmm. because okay. it's easy to scroll through and there's plenty of different they stories. Have good stuff over there. Yeah, they, I do, I do like vi- Yahoo News. Their video offerings are interesting. Yeah. Uh, some hmm. of their apps that they've been coming up with lately, and it, I mean, they're they're really turning over a new leaf. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's going to be really good to kind of expose people to, hey, this is Yahoo now. You know, so so really good for Yahoo there, but uh, there is a stigma. It's like, oh, that's that thing that I used in two thousand, you know, or you know, uh, it's or it's the thing that defaults, or or you know. But some people still use that news page, you mm-hmm. know. So that, that's how. So how many people still get their news from the Yahoo page, or the MSN thing that automatically loads all the time on your next <laughs> floor, or whatever they call it now, Bing and now MSN again, or whatever it is. Like that, that's just like their entry into the world mm-hmm. for whatever reason. Um, and that's that's a really big deal that now Yahoo is the one that's serving those people at least that at least you know put a Firefox browser on. Well, they're but, good for fantasy football. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That, mm-hmm. yeah, so, I have to keep resetting my password for Flickr too. Flickr. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody still uses. <laughs> a lot of people still use Flickr. Yeah, they give you a terabyte of space for photos. So I mean, it's yeah, it's you, you really can't beat yeah. that. Yeah. You yeah. really can't beat that. Um, some other real quick things. Has anybody used the new Facebook Groups app? Yeah. They came no. out, of course, so Facebook splitting everything out, and uh, I think it's really pertaining to this. We use the groups really big on Wrestling Mayhem show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have yeah. a lot of discussion on there. We use it for insert coin boss battle. Um, that that is the only reason I still have a Facebook account. It's, it's, because, of it's because of the Wrestling Mayhem show group. Seriously, wow. That huh. and the odd, you know, birthday reminder. Okay. <laughs> that's that's really it. Facebook's really good about those birthdays. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it's it, it's interesting, um, but I've, so far I'm finding that I just like find my group notifications in my Facebook app and end up just using that. Oh. Um, it's nice, it's cleaner, whatever. I like to split it out. It's it's it, it, it's a nicer thing when I say, oh, I want to troll through some groups, and I forgot how many groups I belong to. You know, um, 
Like there's one that's like, you might be from Greenville if, and I'm like, why is this? Uh, well, then you get added to groups. Then you get added to groups and too. And I was like, I... Don't, you don't even know because you can add anybody to a group. Uh, it's like, no. Without oh. permission. Yeah. So you just get added to groups mm-hmm. now? Huh. Yeah. yeah. I feel so uh, um, insecure or something. <laughs> Real quick, this one, I, I just want to put this out there for Chilla because I know he's got an Xbox One. Um, and, and I'm sorry, Riz, because I know you got a, just got a PS4. You can you can now. Oh, I, I forgot. You <laughs> <laughs> He's so creepy. Uh, you can now order Domino's pizza from your Xbox One. Some just putting that out there. Uh, <sighs> for, I knew I picked the wrong they, one. Yeah, but they don't deliver the door one. They don't deliver the door one. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, so, so he's, he's pretty much. Oh, he's just going to have to still get his slice on Broadway. The guys that sponsor exactly. us. Hey, slice on That's Broadway. delicious pizza. That is That's delicious so good pizza. pizza. Uh, now in two locations. Now in two Ooh. locations. Two locations attached. The height of luxury. <laughs> I can smell the pizza. It's that good. <laughs> on Broadway Avenue. That's how, that's how you work in an advertiser. Because um, I forgot to when the invasion happened. Um, for the, uh, oh, sliceonbroadway.com. They're really great. And they're on social media. You can follow them on Twitter. You can follow them on Facebook. You can find this uh, great video that, that that something that happened to the owner on, on Instagram as well. Um, I'll let you search that one out. It's uh, big. That's big. It's, I, it involves a ladder. It involves a ladder, and, and, and things just go bad. Oh, um, and, sorry, and Rico. Get, and get hungry when, when they put. Sorry, Rico. Um, but uh, they've been awesome. They've been supporting us, uh, giving us a pizza when, when these guys show up in the studio and stuff, because uh, it is dinner time and help help that and help fuel us there yes. for podcast. Pizza powered. As we're doing, as I'm stuck down there doing six shows in a row. And I visited your, your studio. Somebody's coming reason. over to the studio. Hey, 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 it gets these guys to come to the studio and not be lazy and sit home on the hangout. Because most of us are in Pittsburgh. So it's like, let's get everybody in the same room. <laughs> I always think it's a better conversation when people are in the same room. I, I love the enabling of Google Hangout and everything, but but that's it. And if I can entice them with pizza and support somebody local, that's great. Uh, SliceOnBroadway.com. They're, of course, in Beachview in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, right off the T-Line. And uh, Carnegie PA down in uh, down, down Main Street. So I can't miss them. So now I got that out of the way. Uh, real quick, I wanted to mention the Good Web Bundle. Uh, since we're, I think it's appropriate since we're at PodCamp. Um, I believe it is goodwebbundle.com. Let me double check that link. Yes. Uh, I've talked about ThinkUp, which is a really good uh, uh, online application uh, that uh, 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 kind of looks at your Facebook and your Twitter and kind of sees how good of a Twitterer you are and really kind of analyzes that. So it's like, you know, lets you know, um, um, hey, this tweet really took off and, or hey, you, 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 you talk in the first person. You talk about your, yourself this percentage of the time. And I think it's really important uh, for that. But there's some other services that I'm not so much uh, familiar with, but it's kind of like uh, the humble bundles where they kind of bundle stuff together, but it's for services. And I believe this is for a year. For $96, you get a year's subscription to Milkshake, which is a fun and delightful image sharing community on the web. Metafilter, a lot of people know about uh, the community blog uh, that has an answer for everything according to this. Uh, the Toast, which is a, a smart daily blog. Uh, and of course, Think Up. So I just want to throw that out there as a little tip for people who want to check that out. Uh, so on that point, uh, we need to wrap up. We've got to do the pod camp wrap up and get out of their way. Uh, so we can get out of here today. It's fine people here at Point Park. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Yeah. Katie at K-Dutters. At Rambling Mangle. At Rambling Mangle. At the E-Riz. At DJ Lunchbox. And at Panel Riot. At S-I-D-T. And Comic Book Pit with two Ts. At Comic Book Pit with two Ts. Um, again, you can we're recorded live every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Live.sorgatronmedia.com. Check us out on Twitter at AwesomeCast. And, of course, AwesomeCast on Facebook and Google plus um also i can't think he's not here that's i can't thank my show notes guy uh, it's, what show are you doing show notes tweets. are you doing tweets right now boom thank you to missy sorg for doing tweets during this show thank you for uh and everybody who put together pod camp nine it's yeah. been a huge yes. undertaking and uh, we really appreciate it it's it's happening. It's yeah. happening. Uh, everybody, go to go to your jagoff.com. Go uh, click on the uh, 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 petition for get, get jagoff in the dictionary. And uh, well, we'll talk about the rest of the stuff. Jagoff in the dictionary. And all kinds of fun stuff. Ooh, we're saving my drones for next week. Oh well, Ooh. yeah. So we'll save your drones for next week. <laughs> we'll have an in-depth conversation. What what is this drone? Drone boning. Drone boning. There's your preview for next week, folks. Oh, so you man. all want to check out Awesome Cast. Uh, here after Thanksgiving. Everybody have a good holiday 
And uh, and uh, thank you. You have been our awesome audience at PodCamp Pittsburgh Live. And everybody have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Do you like professional wrestling? Want your discussions? No holds barred. Check out WrestlingMayhemShow.com for all the wrestling podcast flavor you can handle.